Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Brad Hamilton and today I'm going to show you how you can build a custom explosion utilizing the chaos add-on for Blender 3D. Let's get started. So here we are inside of Blender. We have used chaos to add a smoke domain to our scene and have increased the resolution to 196. And in addition to this, we have utilized the chaos mix fuel button to give any fire we add to our scene some more realism. If you don't have a custom smoke domain material in your scene yet, do not worry because Chaos will add one automatically for you once you start adding particles to your scene through the Chaos tab. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is create a very simple mini nuke style explosion. So let's go on the left here to the Chaos tab and we will check the checkbox for dynamic smoke fire. Then we will click our 3D cursor where we want to add our explosion system to the scene and then we will choose on our timeline when we want the explosion to start. We will choose around frame 10 for this example. For this example, we will be using these particle parameters in the Chaos tab. We have changed our scale particle amount to 12, our scale particle life by 3, our particle start size at 2, and our particle end size at 0.1. Then we have our fuel start amount at 4, and our fuel end amount at 3, and our initial starting velocity at 0.65, and our initial ending velocity at 0.25. Feel free to experiment with other settings as well, as the concepts in this video apply to many different explosion simulations. Alright, so now after we've done our particle parameters, we will select our 360 ground burst operator here, and the system will be added to your scene. Okay, now let's select our 360 ground burst particle system here and reposition it to the middle of our scene and scale it up on the Z axis so that the particles blast more upwards. Go ahead and select the domain cube and under the physics tab deselect the view option so we can work with the particles without the domain trying to bake any of the simulation. Now if we select our 360 ground burst operator and scrub through our timeline we get something like this, which is looking pretty good for now, but we need to add a few more particle systems to our scene to get a little bit more customized look to our explosion. Now let's go ahead and add the dust shockwave to our blast. So we will go to the chaos tab here deselect the smoke and fire checkbox and select the dynamic smoke box instead. Then we will make sure that our timeline is at frame 10 again and then select the 360 ground burst operator one more time. And now we have another particle system added to our scene here and we will move this one down by our first one and scale it down on the Z axis so that the particles blast more horizontally like a dust wave. This is looking pretty good so let's select our smoke domain and reselect the view option here and we will bake this simulation at 196 grid resolutions. Let's go down here, freely bakes, and then press bake all dynamics and give some time for your computer to simulate. All right, so we are back and we have a pretty nice looking mini nuke style explosion here. Both our dust wave and our primary upward blast are looking pretty good, but what we want to do is add a little bit more of a unique look to this explosion by adding some more systems blasting streams of particles off to the side of the explosion here. So let's go on our timeline to frame 10 where our explosion starts and we will once again go to the chaos tab here and deselect the dynamic smoke box and instead select the dynamic smoke fire box. Then we will scroll down to the particle parameters and change a few settings so that these particles have a slightly different and more debris like style to them. We will scale the particle life by 5 and scale the particle amount by 6. And then once again we will select the location in our scene where we want to add our system and then click on the 360 ground burst operator. Now let's select our smoke domain and deselect our view option here so we can work with our particle systems again. And right now our particles are blasting very randomly up like this. So what we want to do is scale this particle system up on the Z axis so that we can direct the particles out to the side of the center of the explosion. Something like this should look pretty good to create the shape of our blast. Now we will add another 360 ground burst to our scene and position this one blasting upwards from the other side of the explosion to create some more randomness. And now again we will add another one to our scene, pushing with a wider radius for some more shape. Okay, so now if we select our domain cube here and reselect our view option, we can see that we have a variety of particle systems that will be emitting debris blast in different parts of our system to create a little more variety and a more customized result. Now let's go ahead and bake this simulation so we can see what we're getting now. So we will just free all the bakes and then press bake all dynamics once again and give some time for your computer to bake. All right, so we are back and this is our result of adding those new particle systems. And this is just one way you can create a more custom look for your explosion simulations in Blender. 
Of course, you can do this with any of the chaos debris fields as well, such as rocks or concrete or glass to get an even more realistic result. But for the sake of the length of this tutorial, we will stop here today. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.